Hello everybody, this is Carsten back again already, this fine Saturday, uh, I'm back to make a, a response for the Vinyl Corners, 2000 subscribers contest, and uh, the Vinyl Corner is, uh, is this guy called Miko in Finland, check out his channel if you don't know it, but I'm sure you do. When he has uh, 2,000 subscribers, I'm sure that you are one of them. But uh, Miko is one of my uh, great friends here in the, in the in the VC, so of course I will make a response for his contest. But uh, I'm not sure if it uh, if this is the the last day to enter this. But uh, maybe Miko Miko can can write that in the comments. Well, Miko. You wanted us to talk about labels and uh, I think that what you wanted us to do is to look at the labels on the on the records and if uh, if they have some great art and uh, and stuff like that but to be honest Miko I don't really notice or notice uh, to me it's uh, more about the the music and the sound uh, so I am not going to look at my almost 2,000 records to find some that I like. <laughs> no way. So I thought about uh, doing something else. Uh, some of the other re responses I have seen, uh, uh, people talk about uh, audiophile uh, labels. And uh, actually that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to uh, to show some Danish labels. Why not? Uh, but uh, I like these these audiophile labels that make makes uh, reissues. Uh, so the the vinyl records sounds uh, great again. Uh, there are some some records from the 80s and. 70s and stuff like that that don't really sound really good uh, so uh, so I'm happy that there are some record or uh, some labels uh, that that takes these uh, great albums and uh, make them sound great again and uh, one of them is uh, Back on Black here uh, and uh, Back on Black is really uh, made by uh, someone called Plastic Head. But uh, Back on Black has this uh, has these reissues of uh, a lot of metal albums. So I like that. These are made on 100% uh, 180 gram pure vinyl. I'm not sure if that's virgin vinyl, but I don't know. There's also this company called uh, Rhino. Uh, that makes reissues, uh, some great stuff. And of course the, the music on vinyl. Also uh, a record label here in the, in the EU. But uh, we don't really have a lot of uh, these audiophile uh, labels here in the EU. I'm pretty pissed about that. Uh, I just uh, made a note here just to mention that uh, that labels like Music Matters, Analog Productions, MoFi, Nautilus, Halfbeat Masters and Compact Classics, all of those are American uh, audiophile labels. I'm pissed off about that because uh, that makes them so damn expensive around here but uh, of course I would like to show one of the analog productions I'm sure you all know this one let me just show you the, the stickers there I wish this uh, record company or label were stationed here in the EU because they have a lot of uh, reissues that I would like but I just can't pay it uh, the goddamn <laughs> bill. Uh, also, MoFi. 
Uh, what is it? Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. I just wish they were uh, EU company too, because to me, uh, Mobile Fidelity and Analog Productions are the most desirable uh, labels to me. They are way more desirable to me than uh, than music on vinyl or back to black or all those. So, but uh, that's just the way it is. Then uh, let me just uh, end this by showing some Danish labels and record companies uh, because I'm sure that uh, that not many of you know any Dan Danish labels. Here's one uh, called Metronome. If you can see it there. Metronome is uh, or was founded by this Danish guy called Bet Fabricius Bjerg or uh, you may know him as Ben Fabric he's the guy that made that uh, piano song called Alley Cat uh, I'm sure you know that one well, the older of you may know him another Danish label that uh, also looks kind of nice I think is Medley Records. Another Danish label. I don't know too much about that one, other than it's Danish. Then there's this uh, Harlequin label that I kind of like. I don't see too many uh, records on it. Oops, on this label. Is it possible to see it? Good. Harlequin. A pretty nice label, I think. I'd like to see more, but uh, I don't even think this is uh, this is active anymore. Probably just an old Danish label. Then we have uh, another Danish label called it's a bit dusty here, called Plade Company, and uh, to translate that, it's. Uh, Really, just record company. Also, uh, a Danish label there. Uh, the next one is called Fanfare, or in English, Fanfare. But again, this is a, a Danish label. Really hard to hold it out like that. And the next label is a label called Gendu. You get, can see it down there. And this is founded by this Danish band called Gnax. Weird name, but it's uh, one of the labels. Max Tim there, but uh, yeah, Genlu. I don't know how to uh, translate that. Genlu, no. I don't know. You just have to <laughs> miss that one. And the next one, the next or uh, the last one is. Uh, is the record company that uh, DAD started uh, started out on, and that's called Mega Records, but uh, on here it's called Mega Rock. But Mega Records. So uh, that's what I had to show and talk about, Miko. I hope that's all right. Because, uh, yeah, I don't really pay too much attention to, to labels. So, uh, hope you liked it anyway here in my Halloween corner. <laughs> oh God. Well, 
Have a nice weekend, everybody. Cheers.